Hello viewers, welcome to the next video on the Power Apps course. In the previous videos, we have seen a Power Apps introduction and how to create a developer account. Now, in today's video, we are going to see how we can access the Power App, what is the different methods from where we can access the Power Apps, what is the Power Apps Maker portal, and how you can start with your first Power Apps. So here is the blog article. Uh, where you can see the under basic section you can see the second lesson which is how to access the power apps so just click on that link now uh, how to access the power apps once your microsoft 365 account is ready or suppose you already have a microsoft 365 account given by your organization or the account uh, that you have created by subscribing to the microsoft 365 uh, developer program you can use that account to start your Power Apps journey. So there are basically two methods to access the Power Apps. One is Power Apps web and another is Power Apps desktop application. The web is where you just need to go to make.powerapps.com and it will ask you for a login prompt. If you have already logged in, it can directly navigate you to the Power Apps maker portal. The next method is Power Apps desktop application. So if you have seen, I have installed one uh, desktop application. So this application you can find under your App Store, Microsoft App Store. Just search for Power Apps, and they can then you can install this Power Apps desktop application. I have already installed it, and you can see it here. Okay. Now, what's the difference between Power Apps Maker Portal and this desktop application? I will come to that point in a moment. But before that, let's start with this Power Apps Maker Portal. So let's see what different functionalities Power Apps Maker Portal provides. So if you go to make.powerapps.com, then from the left section, you can see the Apps button. So these are the apps where you already have the access and you can then play these apps by clicking on play button or you can edit the existing apps. You can share these apps with other users. I will explain all these features in our next videos. But for now, just understand that from the Power Apps Maker portal, you can manage your existing apps. You can create new apps. Then the you have the access to learning resources. So if you see this learning section, if you go there, you can find a different learning materials with the help of which you can improve your skills in Power Apps development. Next is uh, Access Dataverse. So here the Dataverse section, don't get worried if you are not aware about Dataverse. We are going to cover the Dataverse portion in our next videos. But just understand that a Dataverse is a kind of database. Uh, which is connected with power platform and you can access that database from uh, this dataverse tab then uh, the next is you can create chatbots and you can create solutions create chatbots this is again a new concept that i will share with you at later point of time you can create different solutions we have a different section altogether about what is solution in power app so which is a advanced concept we will cover that as well so overall this uh, maker portal provides you ability to navigate to different uh, modules of the power apps then on the right hand side or the top right side you can see the environments so environments is again we are going to cover in our uh, advanced uh, series which is environments in power apps then you can uh, navigate to your admin center advanced settings all these points we will cover um, at some point so our first task is to start with the Power Apps Canvas app, how to create your first Canvas app. Just click on Apps, then click on New App. So you will get the Canvas app option or just click on Create. And here you can click on Create your app, start with blank Canvas app. That you can also do. So let's create a Canvas app using this option. Both options provide the same interface. Then give the app name. So I'm saying my first app. Okay. Now you have the ability to select whether it's a tablet application or a phone application. 
the difference would be the screen size so if you create a tablet application it can be used on your desktop application or tablet devices that means the devices where you have the landscape screen size but if you create an app using phone option you will get a small screen size which can be better viewed in mobile devices and it's not like the app if you create the app using phone layout you can only access it from phone you can access the phone application from browser as well as phone and also you can uh, access the tablet app uh, tablet applications on your tablet devices desktop devices browsers or mobile phones so it's just selecting which format you need to start with so that uh, when you create the app it will select the according screen sizes so for now i will start with tablet application and just click on create so once once you click on create you will get this interface and this is our power app studio so if you see uh, the next topic is tour of power app studio the left section on the left section you can see the first option is tree view here you can see uh, what different screens we have developed on our power apps you can also get option to create uh, new screens you have some predefined templates as well which you can use in your application or you can just create some blank screens as well then in each screen you can insert different labels or different text inputs for example like this and you see that whenever you select any screen and you insert different elements on that screen those elements can be viewed from here so that if you want to make any change to this control just select that control from here or from the screen if you want to make change to the label you can just select that label and why this section is called as tree view is because you will get a tree like structure so under screen one you have these controls so we don't have any control in screen two so if if i add control to screen 2 it will be under this screen so you will get a tree structure where you can view different screens and controls and the component section it's something a bit advanced concept which i will explain you at later point of time then uh, the next section is insert from where you can insert different controls on the screen in the next video i'm going to explain the functionality of each control here but for now just understand that with the help of insert section you can insert different controls on your screen like these okay the next section is the data so here you can basically add the different data sources whether it's your sharepoint sql dataverse and many other data sources we are going to cover more in detail about this section at later point of time then the next section is media so if you want to add any videos or images in your power apps application you can make use of this media section just click on upload button select your image and that image will get added over here and you can place that image on your screen like this next section is power automate so if you are new to the concept of power automate uh, don't worry i'm going to cover the basics about power automate in this course uh, but if you are aware about power automate from this section we can manage the power automates which are connected with this power apps next section is advanced tools so what is monitor uh, we are going to cover this section in one of our next lesson which is monitor in power apps so with the help of monitor we can uh, understand the performance of our power apps application or we can find out the bugs that we are facing we can also write some test cases to automate the testing of our application which can be done with the help of this advanced tool option the next feature is search and replace from here we can just search different controls in our application or we can replace the function names and formulas that we have written in our application then uh, we have the top bar 
it also has some repetitive sections for example this insert section this is the same section that we saw here then the add data section that we saw here the data we can create new screens the same feature like we have here then uh, you have the custom theme options or, or the standard themes so if i select suppose this brown theme my application will get changed and it will show some different themes we have control over customizing this theme as well which i will explain you in later section you have the background color option as well then you can update some a background image as well for your application then the next is settings so with the help of settings you can just update your application settings we will cover details about this as well you can update the display display features like whether you want your app to be landscape or portrait uh, what are the diff different upcoming features then support these sections can be accessed with the help of setting feature collection uh, this is something a bit advanced topic which i will cover in later section the variables and collections what is open is just to open the other applications from your environment then you can check your formula level errors runtime errors performance issues with the help of this app checker tool so when we develop the application we come across many formula level errors or performance issues which we can view easily view from this app checker option then you can put some comments over here uh, which will help you to understand what is pending on that screen what you need to for example if you want to make some notes about some uh, screens you can make make a note of uh, them and you can add those comments over here so that at later point of time you can view those comments and act accordingly then this is the preview app option when you click on that you will get a preview mode of that application so this is the application that we have just created and you can play with that application in preview mode okay the next section is save and then you can also save as you can add some version notes while saving the application you can download a copy of this application and the final option is to publish the application so when you publish the application it will be visible to the end users with whom you are going to share the apps so unless you publish the application whatever changes you have done in the application those will not be visible to the end users so just make use of publish feature only when you want to publish your changes to the end users so uh, this is all about the introduction about maker portal and from where we can add different controls how we can manage the application settings how we can manage the theme and background colors of the application all these sections we can we can see the help of this maker portal so uh, this was it about uh, our introduction to the maker portal or creating our first power apps application in the next uh, videos we are going to see how we can publish this application and how we can play with uh, these application in our, our devices or on our browser but that will be a later point of time um, before that uh, in the next few videos we are going to learn about very basic concepts about what these controls do how we can leverage different screens to navigate from one screen to other screens how we can make use of images buttons labels all those basic controls we are going to see in our next videos now the one topic that i told you we will cover in the end of this video is power apps desktop application power apps has two platform power apps web power apps desktop application the web version we have already seen now the power apps desktop application this application only provides you the ability to play the apps for example if I open this app, we are only going to uh, view that app in play mode. So you cannot edit this application anywhere from this Power Apps application. Okay. So this application is only used to view the application. So in short, this is not that helpful. So I would recommend to always use this Power Apps web version because 
you cannot edit any application from this power apps desktop application you always need to come here under make.powerapps.com so that power apps desktop application is only used to play the applications which you can even play from the browser as well so instead of using power apps desktop application always go with make.powerapps.com so this was it all about uh, how to access the power apps how to create the how to start with your first power apps canvas application what is power apps maker portal what is power apps studio all these things we have seen uh, i hope you have liked this video uh, please feel free to let me know about your uh, doubts or queries in the comment section uh, but till then thanks for watching and have a nice day